So how did Dodd-Frank affect you guys? Because that's really what the bulk of what you were doing at the time when that occurred, right? Right. So if anybody listening, Dodd-Frank was some legislation that was implemented in 2014 as a response to the subprime mortgage debacle meltdown problem. <laughs> yeah. And we won't even go into that, right? So, right. Uh, so they did decide to protect consumers. And in that uh, ba baby with the bathwater, there were some seller financing transactions also included. They did keep in some exemptions between one and three and 12 months, which is good for the mom and pop sellers, meaning somebody who only creates under three a year. But for people who are creating more than that a year, it did put some additional burdens on us. Now, we buy seller finance notes after they're created. A big segment of the market are those mom and pop sellers. So we break those numbers down in the stats we track as well. So still a big segment of market falls in some exemptions, but there's also a segment that's the professional seller, seller financier, and they were very affected by this. So when, when it first came in, we're like, okay, fine. We're just, we're going to put our heads in the sand. We're not going to deal with this. We're just going to buy notes that were created <laughs> pre 2014. Well, that were it lasts like how long, right? At some point you run out of inventory. So then we're like, all right, we're going to figure this out. So what, we suggest to people as there are mortgage loan originators, MLOs, or some people call them RMLOs, residential mm -hmm. mortgage loan originators, that understand how to qualify a buyer, a borrower, to make sure they meet the ability to repay provision for an owner-occupied home. This doesn't apply to investor properties. And they will document that up and paper it up to make sure that the proper disclosures are done as well. There's other things you have to worry about in your state, like Safe Act and that sort of thing. But that has been one approach. And at the end of the day, it's really created better paper that's more marketable, both from a collection point of view and from a resale point of view, if you ever want to resell your paper.